Hi, this is Dr. Vivek and in this video, I'll be sharing with you how to remove the nodules from your thyroid naturally without any chemicals. Try the holistic way, the Ayurvedic, the holistic medical science way. Many people have got the results. I am sharing my own experience. So maybe it will be helpful for you also. Thyroid nodules. I have seen that many of the times the females who are above 35 or 40, they generally get the thyroid nodules. Which tests are done? How to find out if a person has thyroid nodules or not? Thyroid nodules can be found by doing an ultrasound of your thyroid gland. Second is checking your hormones, the T3, T4, TSH, thyroid hormones. And this both in combination can clear it out that you have nodules or not. And if you have, they are affecting your thyroid or not. So these are the tests that are done. Generally, hypothyroid patients or the autoimmune thyroiditis, the Hashimoto disease, these people have more tendency to form the nodules. So now as we have found out that a person has the nodules, now what to do? First of all, you have to go for the reasons why a person is developing the nodules. It is many times because of the higher estrogen in the body. Why a person has higher estrogen? There are many reasons. One of the biggest reason is consumption of alcohol, especially the beer. It can cause big damage to your liver and this indeed will increase the estrogen in your body and this can lead to problems with the thyroid. Estrogen can be high because of many other reasons. For example, if a female is on hormonal replacement therapy, any kind of, so in that generally the estrogen is given and it elevates and this can cause problems. As you might have seen in the pregnancy, Many females suffer from thyroid problems. Why? Because during the pregnancy, the estrogen levels goes high. That's why the pregnant ladies are on more risk. The third category are the ladies who are on birth control pills. In those also estrogen is given. So high estrogen problems with the thyroid. Second reason that I have seen cause of the thyroid problem is consumption of more not healthy food, junk food. These things can cause problem. Why? Because first they will cause problems with your liver and liver is the organ that is responsible for the conversion of T3, T4 hormone in its active form. So your liver will be not healthy. This will give effect to your thyroid also and plus junk food can also increase the estrogen in your body male or female any body yes junk food can increase and can decrease the testosterone in the male body so junk food is the second reason that can cause the problem the third reason is if a person is having deficiency of selenium and zinc selenium is very very important i have seen that many people who suffer from any of the autoimmune diseases they all generally have lower level of selenium. Just adding selenium to the diet can do the magic. Selenium you can get easily from the Brazilian nuts or either in the tablets form it's available. I generally recommend the dose from 50 to 100 microgram. So if a person is suffering he should or she should take the zinc and selenium this will help. Now let's move towards the treatment. The first thing in the treatment is to check the iodine. If you are taking too much of iodine, this can also lead to formation of the nodules in the thyroid gland. If you are taking little bit means in the supplement form you are taking good iodine, it will be good, it will help in the treatment. But taking too much, too much is not good of anything. Either it's water, either it's healthy food, either it's iodine. So a normal amount of iodine if you're taking, it's very good. Keep on doing it. It will help you in reducing the nodules, but higher will form the nodules. Now let's talk about the herbs. If we'll move towards the herb, the first thing that I will recommend is use of turmeric. Turmeric is anti-inflammatory. It can help you in your digestion also. Antioxidant, lots and lots of benefits. So you should consume turmeric every single day. It's very important. Second is spirulina. Yes, spirulina has done magic. I have seen patients in my own practice that have got very good effects by the use of spirulina. So spirulina can help you with the thyroid. So if you are thinking to buy spirulina from the market, I can recommend you my own favorite brand that is Snova. They also have spirulina, Snova, 
organic spirulina capsules one capsule two times in a day empty stomach can be taken whichever products i have used of this brand snova i liked all of them and they all are effective people say that natural product takes time to give effects you use any of their product and you will see the results just by one or two use that's why i'm recommending here also it's not so that just they have paid me and i'm doing the advertisement over here no in my own life i use their product and i recommend it to the people near to me so if you are considering to buy then snova spirulina is a good option third is the use of the herb name trifla Trifla will clean your gastrointestinal tract. It will remove the arm other toxin from your body. Your body will heal by itself and it can help you in cure of the thyroid also, especially the thyroid nodules. You have to combine Trifla with Kanchanar Gugul. I know it's hard to pronounce. That's why it's written over here. This is an Ayurvedic medicine, totally natural. It is in the tablet form, two tablets, two to three times in a day, 30 minutes after food It is generally recommended. You have to take it and with combination with Trifla, with the diet, it can help in the thyroid nodules. Kanchanar Gugul decreases the size of cyst, nodules, any kinds of extra growth in our bodies and also it clears our blood and helps in the good functioning of the liver also so magical herb but use it with trifla trifla i have lots of video i love this herb if you are not new to my channel you already know about trifla dose is one teaspoon two times in a day 30 minutes after food kanchanar i have said how to use it spiraline you have to use turmeric and cinnamon add cinnamon also in your food in your smoothies in your teas anywhere but use cinnamon. This will help you. Diet. Which diet to follow? In Ayurveda, we say if you have nodules, better to go for the kapha diet. Kapha, in general language, if I say, is the mucus. You have to remove all the products that have mucus. For example, rice, potatoes, pasta, macaronis, all these kind of refined food. These you have to totally remove. Just search on internet, Kapha diet, and you will find the list of products that you should eat, that you should avoid. I will try to put the link down below, also in the description box. So use these all herbs in a combination for at least two to three months. Follow this diet, and this in turn can help you in the treatment of the nodules. Not only in the nodules, but in good functioning of the thyroid also. So this is from my experience. I hope this will help you share this knowledge with the person who is suffering. Maybe it can help others also. Smile more. Don't take stress because stress will surely affect your thyroid. Smile more. Stay happy. Stay healthy.